watching Good Day Columbus on Fox 28. There are certainly fan favorites when it comes to Super Bowl commercials. We shared a few of ours a moment ago. Yeah, but which ones gave companies the best bang for their buck? We're talking to a local ad expert with the best. You know, uh -huh. Maybe not in terms of your favorite, but right. the best in terms of the cash. And they aren't necessarily the funniest or the most entertaining. Interesting. They are interesting, that's for sure. I've always preferred the cream part of an Oreo. That's crazy. The cookie's the best part. During the Super Bowl, that was the Oreo Whisper ad. And this morning, Don Bitsazi with RMD Advertising is here to talk to us. Uh, you know, not necessarily about just your favorites, but the ones that really worked from a marketing and a money perspective. Yeah. There are a lot of spots out there that really worked well. Uh, what you really want to do is entertain. Okay. And many of these spots that I drew out in a lot of the, uh, the people out there, there was a lot of websites that say, hey, these are the ones that really, uh, really stood out. The Oreo was great because okay. anytime you can have a fight in a library, that's okay by me. <laughs> yeah. But it was amusing. It drew you in. And plus, at the very end, there's a social media aspect. They wanted you to go to Instagram, right. and they're going to have a contest beyond that and really uh, label that in. Is so that like really that. the big push? Is that the money maker for people these days? Right now, the big talk out there before the Super Bowl, how many spots were released pre? Uh -huh. Because many of them were, and is that a good bang for your buck? I think right. it is still. Okay. Um, you want people to be drawn in. You have uh, over 110 million people, many of them didn't see them. Yeah. And the split is about a 50-50 from female to male watching okay. it. So I think there's some big value to release them early. Okay. Get the, the, the rumble going a little bit. I yeah, you enjoy the fact that the ones you've singled out aren't necessarily what we picked right yeah. off the top. Right. Yeah. Although I will agree with you, the Budweiser ad yeah. really resonates. Resonated. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, very emotional. There are very emotional ones. Uh -huh. uh, military ones. Uh, mm -hmm. and this one, what I selected, I liked it uh, because it has that emotional appeal. And the nice thing about it is they, they kind of dusted off Paul Harvey, which yep. many yes. of the audience members don't know who, but they it had that voice. Uh -huh. uh, at the very end, they didn't tell you this, but if you go and view that spot, Dodge is donating to the FFA, the Future Farmers of America. Okay. So every time you view it, so there is a tie in there. So a tribute to the farmer. Okay, right. so the farmer kinda, was good too. Yeah. We're, we're pulling at heartstrings there. How about yeah. the Tide commercial? Uh, Tide was great. I liked the spots, and there were a few of them that tied in the Super Bowl, uh, the event in the game, mm -hmm. and that was a good one because uh, you had you had the 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 husband with the stain and Joe Montana uh, and, and the big tribute to that. Yeah, see, that was me. We have taco dip all over our stuff. <laughs> yeah, this definitely yeah. resonated for me. Oh yeah. Uh, the funny thing about that is, of course, is the tie-in of the game. She's a Ravens. The, the wife is a Ravens fan, and sure. that stain's coming off. So, <laughs> but it shows the product. It shows this product's taking this stain yeah. off, and it's no longer. So I do like that. Okay, how about Mercedes? Mercedes. A good use of um, actors. Yeah. William Defoe, perfect. Mm -hmm. Not over the top. Just enough, and the big thing about this is this new C class, I believe, is sport, and this is going to give you the sign your life away. This is a, the where you're going to be. You're going to get this, the the women and the fame and all this. Okay. But the reveal is you don't need to sign your life away. The big reveal is it's only twenty, only twenty nine thousand dollars for this Mercedes, and I like that. Interesting. You know what else? Uh, car one, off topic that I liked was the Hyundai one that kept going. It was right at the start. They kept saying. Don't tell your mom. Don't tell that your mom. Don't tell your now, mom. Now, that was leaked earlier, too, yes, though. Yes, it yeah. was. Yeah. Uh, and, and again, some of these being leaked, is, it's not so bad because okay. people are familiar and they talk about it during, oh, you got to watch this one. This is a good one. That's true, too. Yeah. Okay. Now, this one, what do you think? Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Yeah. The race. Coke. As I, we talk about kind of filtering out a little bit, it's like a mini movie. All right. Um, I got tipped off of this, as many people, and I went and you watch this movie of three teams getting the infamous Coke, mm -hmm. and you could go on their website and you figure out, you pick which one, you could sabotage the other teams. Yeah, pick the other So ending. it drew you in. Yeah. You're on this website for a period of time playing around. Now, I like this, and then the votes of who is going to win. Now, they had such a big push for this that it crashed their servers, <laughs> because I went, right when it said vote, I went. The, the whole, everything crashed down. So they weren't prepared for it. So 
it's a great thing. People wanted to know what was going on, mm -hmm. but again, a uh, little bad. It got it got a lot of negative flack though last week. Yeah, because of the Arab influence, and they thought it was stereotypic. Sometimes um, it, not with that one as much, but uh, GoDaddy always goes, and yeah, you talked yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah. But th th some of these um, uh, commercials will be thrown out there, and CBS, for instance, would turn it down, say, no, you can't do that. And then they, they, they tell everybody, hey, we had a great one, yeah. but, oh, we can't run it, and they get this PR effect to it. Now, now uh, did they really, we were hearing that some companies spent up to $4 million. Are they getting that money back? Do people run out and buy a Hyundai, crazy and buy Coca-Cola, really, it, because Oreos, for seeing this? You know, it's so many images past that. You have to weigh that out when okay. it's $4 million plus. Oh, I bet you the, the Coke, for instance, uh, was well over a million dollars to pr uh, to produce to that produce, spot. Sure. Yeah. But you, that's why they leak it. That's why they draw people in. That's why they have to use that social media aspect, yeah. get impressions after impressions to get that dollar back. And that will go a long way. Okay, well I know I'm going to get a chicken soft taco today, so there you go. <laughs> well I know I must dumb it down when I watch these things because I never knew all that was going on. Uh, thank you so much for the perspective. Well, Always fun to see those commercials. Absolutely.